Tim Pool is clearly off his meds. So anyway, uh, the new movie that a lot of people have been waiting for has uh, been released in theaters, and there are some people that have been able to see it. Uh, I myself magically was uh, able to see it. And um, and anyway, <laughs> the movie, uh, like I say, it's been pretty long awaited for many people. And I will tell you right now, this movie is absolutely incredible. It is an awesome... I liked it. I really enjoyed the movie. Really, really enjoyed the movie. Um, so, anyway, I guess they talked about it last night on Tim's show. And Tim released a clip of that today. Um, and it's titled, A24 Civil War Movie Slammed as Anti-Trump Film... It's clearly leftist. Okay, now, I don't, I I can't make the claim that Tim has personally seen it. I haven't even watched this video. So, (laughs) I, I, I couldn't tell you if Tim's actually seen it himself. However, if he has seen it, then that dude's got way more than a few screws loose because it should have reminded him of what things were like. Not that he was a war correspondent per se, but he has been in several sticky situations, same as Luke Rykowski of We Are Change. Both of them together were in some pretty crazy different situations. Um, so so they should certainly know uh, about that role of being a, a journalist, even though not necessarily a war journalist. So anyway, the movie, okay, first of all, I'll say you really can't put a direction on it as far as who's who as far as left and right. It's a little hard to do it. Um, It really is kind of hard to do it. There's really only one spot in the movie that it really kind of clearly defines what the Civil War is about. There really, truly is only one moment that really makes it stand out. And you've seen in the trailers, and by the way, spoiler alert, before I go any further, I'm just going to say it, spoiler alert. So if you don't want the movie spoiled, you might want to click the X now. But there was a, a scene in the trailer to where the gentleman with orange hair and the pink glasses were was asking... Uh, some members of the press, uh, what kind of Americans they were, right? Now, you didn't get to see that whole clip played out in the trailer. And that was the only really defining part that, that showed what the Civil War was even about, per se. And, oh, I'm telling you, it's interesting. Because the the orange hair goes around asking the different individuals where they're from. <coughs> so they say the states that they are from. Now, one guy has already been killed in this group. Okay, they just whacked him, shot him. And he's going around asking what kind of American they are, meaning where are you from? And the young girl was from Missouri, so that passes as America, right? And um, I can't remember where the one bigger actor, the the older lady, uh, I don't know actors and stuff, I'm not into entertainment. But um, she said that uh, she was from Idaho, or no, Colorado, Colorado, and, and... so, you know, of course, that passed. And there, there was another guy that was with them that was from Florida. That passed. They were all good. Then Orange Hair walks up to another guy who was clearly Asian. Clearly. And asked him, where are you from? And, you know, it took a while to get the guy to answer because he'd been crying and stuff. Because I don't know what relationship the other guy that w- got whacked right away. I don't. But they were to get not necessarily together as in romantically, but I'm saying in the movie they were together when you first meet them, if you will. So, anyway, um, 
he says Hong Kong, and the moment that he says Hong Kong, Orange Hair pulls the trigger on him. So that's really the only super defining part that really tells you what the Civil War is really about, and it's it's about immigrants, is what the movie is about. That's what the Civil War is clearly about, and the interesting thing I find is I, I would not necessarily attach... Uh, you know, orange hair and pink glasses to um, red team. Really, I just I don't. And then his buddy had like blue and yellow colored hair or some crazy stuff like that. And you know, that's not typically the direction you see conservatives. You know, so. Uh, but at the same time, and let me make this clear: at the same time, there were individuals that were wearing. The Hawaii, you know, Hawaiian t-shirts and stuff, you know. Um, so, it really didn't honestly, uh, it didn't focus on that. The movie wasn't even focused on that. And that's why I really do not understand Tim's buffoonery there with saying that it's anti-Trump and clearly leftist. Now, the movie was centered around journalism and uh, about what journalists go through and um it it I thought it was a very 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 well done movie very well done movie and uh I couldn't I couldn't recommend it anymore it's just a good movie it's not it's not centered around the civil war okay the civil war is just a you know kind of a causation in a sense because it's it's a it's centered around journalism and journalists and it was very well done very well done i didn't feel like the movie in any way was trying to pull me a conservative or or liberal direction at all there there was absolutely none of that so i just wanted to pass that on cuz I don't get how you could be that wrong about a movie like good it like I say really good movie. I do absolutely I encourage people to check it out. So anyway, I'm going to leave that at that. I'm going to shoot another video here about uh, some some news that's been coming out, so I'll make that a separate video. Anyway, I hope you have a good day. Shalom.